Hey guys, it's James, bringing you episode 4 of season 3, so it's awesome that we're in season 3 now, and I've got like a little theme for this episode, you know, I'll just have a bit of a talk, not really like an issue or anything, just want to talk to you about just something, and you can see there, Imbakogu and Berahino playing in today, um, I really need to give Berahino some more game time, because, you know, maybe he has been performing, but... You know, he just hasn't been increasing in his overall. And you look on the other side of the field, McManaman, who, are, you know, I had at the club, who was already at the club, and, you know, they're about the same age. And he's up to 76, and Barry Hino's up to 71. You know, he's supposed to be like a beast player. So, yeah, we'll just get you ready for this ready game. You can see that I'm still using players like Palacios and Watson, you know, legends of the club probably. Um, but we're playing at Reading Stadium, and you're going to see someone walk out now who's going to have such a wicked game. Uh, Daniel Williams, the Reading player, the USA international. I think he's still involved in the in the setup there of the country. I'm not really sure. Um, Chalupa Wana, help me out. <laughs> but uh, it's good to see Anton Ferdinand back into the game because you know he played at Turkey for a bit, and Fokkeball has come on into the centre of defence. You know he used to be on the left of the defence and you know, left back. Um, but you can see Polomart there as well. You know a player that I really like, number 26. Um, just looks like a really scary lad, and he's a really good tall defender, centre defensive mid, but, um, yeah, so as you know, I, I love career modes, I love playing FIFA career modes, you know, I've played them ever since I was, well, playing FIFA on 9, you know, I just played a career mode, just thought, what is this, and it was just turned out to be a really fun game, as you know, it's only the second most popular game mode in FIFA, and I think one of the reasons for that is because, you know, maybe on YouTube when people watch career modes, the career modes only go for like one or two seasons. You know, don't get me wrong, those seasons are really fun because everyone makes the big realistic signings that you see on the news, but you're going to see Daniel Williams tackle Alfred Duncan, so he gets the yellow card. As I said, he's going to have a wicked game. Tries to tackle Alfred Duncan, you know, he's the beast of the team, and they almost get a shot in or a goal in, but Seagrass wasn't troubled with that. But yeah, so one or two seasons can be really fun, but I think... If I could give any advice, if my advice meant anything, or if I could give any advice, it would just be that career modes get better and more fun once you get past the third or fourth season. Because as you know, you know you're watching now, this is the third season, and I can just bring in some younger players now. There are lots of young players that I can get. And as you know, I accepted the England job, so now I'm the manager of England. And now, because we're in the third season, there are some younger players that I can look at that could be, you know, in contention for an England place or I, even I could buy them in my club, you know, for Wigan. And something I didn't realise when I accepted the England job or when I was looking at the offer was that I can look at any player that is English or has an English nationality. It's just something that you get when you become a manager. You get to, you get to look at the search and you get to search any player from 0 to 99 overall. And look at Daniel Williams' tackles, Jermaine Jones' his teammate from the USA. And he gets a second yellow, so he get, he'll get sent off, so that's him done for the game. Not the best impression he's made, it's only the 63rd minute. There must have been a talk at halftime, don't foul anyone, don't tackle, and he fouls him right outside the box. It's not a penalty, you're going to see me do a free kick, useless free kick with Fockable. I just try to go for the low power shot. But yeah, because I'm manager now, and I've got some younger players coming in, they could be great players, and it just gets more fun when you when you use the younger players, in my opinion, anyway. Um, so career modes don't have to be boring. You can just keep going on and just keep going and going and get the new players. Um, but, you know, things like this really bug me. You know, the youth squad, this is my youth setup. And I'll tell you what, these guys are useless. Look, I don't know how this is going to work. 53 to 57 overall. I'll tell you, you know, he was 57 overall, this guy here. Matt Yakubu, so I remember that name from the old days. Um, there's a striker... Yakubu played for Blackburn and Everton, but this guy looks to be really good though, even though he's only going to be like 62 overall. So, yeah, I would um, just recommend just try, keep going on with your career modes and just keep pushing on, uh, making sure you get some younger players in because younger players are really fun. It's the whole point of the career modes to get to, you know, get these guys like Pedro or Zoe, just increase them up. Berahino, that's why I'm really trying to get Berahino up, get some game time. And I suppose I'll tell you some of the players that I'm looking at or some of the younger players that I'm talking about. So, a couple of players that I've searched, I think there are about eight or nine players that I'm looking at. One of them is a Chelsea youth player. His name is Ruben Loftus-Cheek. Crazy name, isn't it? Funny name. Uh, he's actually 69 overall, and he's only 20 or 21 years old, so that's great. You know, he could just go right into the starting 11 in the midfield. He's a left midfielder, 
and you know I reckon he can go all the way up to 80 you know like what Mackie Knox doing you know just keep increasing keep increasing Man City in their red kit I really like their red kit by the way I've never seen them play with it I think it's a classic kit another player that I'm looking at is Deli Ali who is a centre defensive mid um, it's not it's, you know I always use, I always like to talk about the defenders and the midfielders in the team don't get me wrong just Deli Ali is the only player I can find one of the only players I can find that is, is good like that you know, he's 68 overall, and he's 21 years old, so he's a great player. He plays for MK Dons in real life, I think. And, you know, you can expect these players in in real life, you know, in a couple of years to be the main players in football, in England football. Makinox has got that good tackle in. Loa Loa just gets behind Yaya Toure. I don't know what Yaya Toure is doing there. Should be a centre back there trying to cover Loa Loa. But it was just good high pressure, high defence. Um you know, just defending up the field, and now in that bit of space, you're going to see just pass across goal, and that was just a nice crappy goal, I like those goals more than anything, but yeah, so those are two of the players that I was looking at, and when I'm, or I am actually playing this career mode, obviously, you know, I'm recording it and uploading it for you, but when I am playing it, I am in January, transfer window, I think, I've almost finished that, so there are a couple of players that I've bought, I probably won't tell you them now, although you've got an idea of some of the players that I'm looking at, Good shot by Barry, you know. But yeah, I just want to know, like, what do you think? Do you play career modes? Do you play career modes past the second season, you know? Or do you just prefer doing the short, quick career modes? Because there's nothing wrong with playing just one season. I mean, just just entertainment, just make you have a bit of fun, you know? But I just want to know, do you play one, two, two seasons or three seasons? Or do you go all the way 15 seasons, you know? That would be quite interesting just to know what you think but I have to give Nick Power a new contract so give him 5k extra um, obviously a crucial first team player and what I like about Nick Power is that he's only 21 years old and I felt like I've had him, I've had him for like the whole series um, just a shame he's only 72 overall you know I did buy him at 69 and in three seasons he's only grown what three so Chelsea will score that right in the first half and at the, in the half time I have to make a couple of subs so making up will come on and now we're just going to see what we can do. So Chelsea, they're going to score another goal. So I didn't make any defensive replacements or I didn't even make any changes. So I think that's why. But now Makinok is going to cut inside as you do when he's in that bit of space. Get his big long legs in there. One of them gets caught. And now we have a penalty. You can see the red card at the top there. Kurt Zuma is going to get sent off. Kurt Zuma is actually one of the players that I really like. And I've just, just reminded me, I have pictures of my old FIFA 13 crown mode. Which I keep saying I'll upload. I will upload that. Just show you a bit of that. Just have a bit of a talk. Just um, That was in the 10th season, I think, when I had players like Kurt Zuma, who were like 80 overall. Really cool players. Make you not get a shot in. And Polymart. So we rescue a point at home against Chelsea. That's a great, um, great accomplishment there. Chelsea, obviously, one of the best teams in the world. And we just get a good point there. Goal in the 90th minute from Benoit Polymer, who I mentioned earlier on in the episode. So, yeah. So that brings us to the end of this episode. Something new. If you like this type of episode where I just have a bit of game in the background, have a bit of cream in the background, and talk about the game as well, but also talk about something else, something interesting like an issue or a topic, just for a couple minutes, I might shorten it down next time. But if you did like this type of episode, then yeah, please... But if you like the series in general, then please, yeah, just leave a like, subscribe, share, comment, all that stuff. And I'll see you in the next episode. Cool. Goodbye.